Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special game commentary here. Uh, my name is SeerTega999, and we're about to talk a little bit about the Black Ops 2 update that came up. As you can see in this video, it is Hardcore Capture the Flag on uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, I guess we should call it Black Ops 1 since there's a Black Ops 2. But this is kind of the point of this video is, well, look, it's a uh, Call of Duty... Uh, it's Hardcore Capture the Flag on Call of Duty uh, Black Ops, but they recently in the update they just placed a couple days ago, um, they decided to take away Hardcore Capture the Flag, which is probably one of my favorite game modes on multiplayer, and unfortunately they took it away, they put in Hardcore Domination, trying to be an incentive for taking away Hardcore Capture the Flag. I'm not sure how to really feel about that yet. I'm still tossed up and uh, still trying to figure out what I think of it so I guess I can figure it out right now uh, Hardcore Capture Flag was one of the best game modes on uh, on Call of Duty Black Ops uh, any of them luckily they still have it on the first one which I this is this was I was playing it here uh, and uh, pretty much I was doing it because I was so mad I'm like look there's no Hardcore Capture Flag on Black Ops 2 I'm gonna go back to Black Ops 1 and play it and it still felt it felt weird adjusting to both from one to the other but anyways, my feelings on taking away Hardcore Capture the Flag is really no reason at all. Then again, they took away Free For All, which I used to play as well, and it's pretty disappointing that they took it away. And uh, really, it's just, for me, being a Hardcore Capture the Flag player, that's really one of the best games to play if you want to interact with other uh, players on the Xbox Live, mainly because you, know, you have to communicate, you have to talk. If you ha don't have a team that doesn't have mics on Hardcore Capture Flag, you're not going to have a great time. You're going to be the team that's getting whooped. That's what made Hardcore Capture Flag so great is because it, clans work together, random people have to work together, and it was a great way to interact with other players on multiplayer. But now that that's taken away, they put it in this hardcore domination. Now, what do I feel about domination? Domination, to me, has and always will be a core game. Now that they put it in the hardcore, man, I've played hardcore domination a couple times already. And I could say I've never seen, I've never been killed by grenades, never been killed by RPGs, never been killed by um, so many explosive weapons in my entire gaming experience on Black Ops. And really, people, I remember back in the day, people used to always talk, well, if Domination will never be hardcore. You know why? Because if they did, it would just be so easy to get kills with RPGs, noob tubes, and it would just be way too easy. And that's really what happened. And the reason I have an issue with hardcore Domination is because, really, if you want to play to the objective, you really have to have either Flat Jacket or a trophy system. And in Black Ops 2, you don't get Flat Jacket until you're ranked 30. Two, you have to rank till you you have to wait till you are ranked 32 to get flat jacket, and then you have to wait till rank 35 to get a trophy system. So you have to really, for me, right now I prestige, I prestige as much as I can, and uh, until I get master prestige, it won't obviously be a problem. But being a player that's prestiging, um, it's a big issue considering the fact that I have to wait till I ranked 32 to get flat jacket and really feel comfortable in domination since it's hardcore. It's easier to die by grenades. It's easier to die by uh, RPGs and noob tubes, obviously. It's really a problem that I have with Treyarch doing this. They took away one of the best and most... Uh, best experience game in Hardcore Capture Flag. I hope they bring it back, but right now I've thought about it. I'm like, <laughs> I'll be surprised if they bring it back, and if they do, you'll see a video of me absolutely jumping up and down. Hardcore Capture Flag is back. But till then, Hardcore Capture Flag is gone for the time being. Um, I think somebody mentioned, I don't play core, I don't go in the core menus, but I think somebody mentioned that they took away Sabotage. I don't know if that was there before, but it's not there anymore. Uh, Sabotage was a fun game mode, really, for people who wanted to get... Um, to really get plants and diffuses and whatnot like they used to be objectives for that on the first black ops but i never really tried it on the second black ops but that's gone too i believe um all in the description below uh, a much more descriptive um update as w to many of the updates there's so many updates and one of the ones they really didn't say when i first read it was about taking away hardcore capture flag and putting in hardcore uh, domination so uh yeah I don't know what to think about it still. I'm still upset a couple days later.
Uh, I want to know what everybody else thinks of it. What, do, what, do, what does everybody think about Hardcore Capture Flag? Do you even play Hardcore Capture Flag? Have you tried Hardcore Capture Flag? Do you hate Hardcore Capture Flag? Do you like Capture Flag in general? Or do you hate Hardcore in general? For me, I'm still trying to find where I'm going to play because a variety of players I played with all played Capture the Flag, Hardcore Capture Flag. We all played Hardcore Capture Flag. And now we have to kind of adjust to Domination. But really, Domination is just nothing but grenades and new tubes, like I said. It's just simply a joke. Um, I hope Treyarch really does consider uh, bringing back Hardcore Capture Flag. I hope this is just temporary and yada, yada, yada. Moving on to the next thing real quick here in the final couple minutes, I believe. Uh, final five minutes of this uh, commentary. Uh, the new Black Ops 2 maps. Now, what do I think of them? I think the maps look pretty interesting. I like uh, They added the volcano in the, the town that has a volcano running through it. Uh, magma running through it, I should say. Not the volcano itself, but it has magma running through it. Um, that map's pretty cool. I could say I'm not surprised after seeing Transit and the zombies, how they had the magma incorporated into pretty much Transit. I, I can't say I'm shocked to say that I was going to see a multiplayer map at some point in time that involved that sort of environmental um, way to die. And uh, what else? What are the other maps? I don't think I saw the names. Today they just released the trailer for Mob of the Dead, the gameplay, so I haven't looked at that yet. Uh, I'll be sure to check that out. Uh, what else? Uh, other maps. Oh, uh, yes, there's a skyscraper map uh, that's from India. That map seems like it'll be one of the least favorite because it just looks ridiculous already. I could just tell. If you look at something and if it looks like uh, you feel fishy about it, it's usually going to suck. Um... Really, the first map pack wasn't all that great. Uh, the first map pack was pretty disappointing. And also, really, the zombies, the great leap forward, to me, was very disappointing as well. I tried it once, and I knew. I was just, I just knew there was just nothing there. It was just, there's, they're trying to really take too much from zombies. What used to be called Nazi zombies, if everybody remembers. Nazi zombies was the greatest. And, um, excuse me. And really, it's just... I don't know. They were just trying to do too much with it. Hopefully with Mob of the Dead, it'll be more basic. But uh, what I, people have told me about the, the gameplay, it seems as if they've added newer weapons, which will be cool. We'll see. And um, really adding bosses, which is interesting. I, I just hope it tries to stay more basic and whatnot than uh, getting really complex and really complicated for zombie players uh, that really enjoyed it back in, um, I believe, it was, when was the first Zombies? First zombies I remember was Call of Duty World at War. So, um, yeah. Uh, other maps, multiplayer maps. We got the India one. We said the Skyscraper one. That doesn't look good. But Magma one. We got the the English uh, concert area, which is in London, I believe. It's like, a, it's like a concert area with the stage and the stands. That one looks interesting. <laughs> it's going to be, I, I say it's so open. It looks so open at, at first that it seems it's going to be really a... Uh, there's going to be quite a few camping in the stands, I would say. A lot of snipers in the stands. And uh, a lot of the close combat will be nor towards the stage, I would imagine. What do I think of the concept? The concept? I think it's pretty cool, but um, I could just already tell there's going to be <laughs> a lot of raging on there. Uh, and then the last one is one that they they do in the Hollywood back set lot with uh, a similar uh, map uh, to Firing Range. It looks the same as Firing Range, but with the different... Uh, in a Hollywood back set, which is pretty cool to do. Firing Range for me was one of my favorite maps on Call of Duty Black Ops. I loved Firing Range. I still love Firing Range. I have a good time on Firing Range. I did have great times on Firing Range. And really, I just look forward to seeing if that, uh, if the map lives up to Firing Range. Odds are, they probably added stuff, and they added stuff that just seems too complex, and it's like, okay, this is like Firing Range, but there's, there's just like, I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Uh, the map packs come out, I think, in less than a week, in about five days from when I'm doing this. So it'll be interesting to see that. So once again, I'll leave in the description below um, the post that Activision had on their blog, I think it was, or their forum, about all the updates they added to Black Ops 2. Um, personally for me, I'm still butthurt about the fact that Capture the Flag is gone, Hardcore Capture the Flag. I'm still trying to find a game mode that I can feel comfortable in, and I don't know what I'm going to do till then. Uh, just experiments between Hardcore Domination, uh, Kill Confirmed, and Team Deathmatch Search and Destroy, maybe, probably not. 
But, uh, yeah, once again, description below for the link as well. What do you guys give the new Call of Duty Black Ops 2 map pack that's getting ready to come out? What do you think of Mamba of the Dead? Are you going to get the map pack now, or are you not going to get it because you're upset about them taking away uh, the, your game mode, Sabotage? I don't know if that was there. But uh, as well as Hardcore Capture the Flag, are you still going to get it, or are you just getting it strictly for the zombies, or are you strictly getting it for the multiplayer map, or are you strictly get it and getting it for both? Uh, my name is C Ortega999, and I am out of here.